Hi, my name is Robin Moffat. I'm a developer advocate at Confluence. And today I want to show you how you can push data from KSQL DB down to target systems and how you can also ingest data from systems upstream and pull it into Kafka. We're going to use something called Kafka Connect under the covers to do this. And the nice thing about KSQL DB is it has integration for Kafka Connect directly. So from within KSQL DB, you can take a particular stream. So we're going to say show streams. And you can see here we've got a stream called orders enriched and that orders enriched is a nice denormalized topic we built it in a previous example where we took some order events as they arrived we added in some lookup information did that denormalization as those events arrived wrote it out onto this new topic and now we've got this topic if i consume from it and just show you a handful of rows you can see you've got this kind of thing you've got the order timestamp You've got what was bought and the, where it was made and the address and all this kind of stuff. And now we want to push it on downstream for analytics somewhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to create ourselves a connector. So we're going to say create a sync connector. Create sync connector. So this is still in KSQL DB. But what we're actually doing in the background is calling out to Kafka Connect. So create a sync connector, give it a name, and then we're going to push data down to Elasticsearch in this case. So we say, well, we'll use the Elasticsearch sync connector. And there are hundreds of different connectors. So if you want to push data to a database, you use the JDBC sync connector. If you want to push data to Mongo, you use the Mongo sync connector. There's lots and lots of different connectors. And we say we want to take data from this particular topic here. It's called orders enriched. Have we serialized the data? In this case, the value uh, is the uh, Avro. And where is Elasticsearch? Well, this is the endpoint for Elasticsearch. So we go and create the connector. We've created the connector, so we can say uh, describe uh, this particular connector. Oops, describe connector like that. And we say describe connector to make sure it works. It's okay, you created a sync connector and the class is Elasticsearch sync connector and the state is running. Now, what it tells us here is the worker ID is KSQL DB, the host machine itself. It's the, the name of the, the host where KSQL DB is running. So KSQL DB can use an embedded Kafka Connect worker. So when you're spinning up your processes, when you're spinning up your stack, you actually just have KSQL DB to run. You have your Kafka brokers and you've got KSQL DB. And within that, it can run Connect. You can also optionally say, I've got my Kafka Connect, uh, sorry, my Kafka brokers. And then I've got my Kafka Connect workers separately. And then KSQL DB can be configured to talk to those workers. However you want to deploy it, we manage it the same. We say create sync connector. We can also create source connector. So it tells us our connector has been created, as it tells us it's running. If we had multiple tasks, if we scaled out our egress or ingest, you'd have multiple tasks there. But we've just got a single one, and it says it's running. And what this means is we can now head over to Elasticsearch and check out that data. So I'm going to launch Kibana here and we can see we've got orders enriched. Oh, let's change the timestamp and let's have a look at the last uh, year or so. Let's see where our data has got to. Um, and we can apply that and we can see here, because it's all data based on a data generator, we can see the data um, in this particular set here. So as our data is arriving in that source topic, we can see this number's going up, we've got more data arriving. You can see it's being pushed through from our Kafka topic. We're enriching it in KSQL DB and pushing it down into Elasticsearch, in this case with Kibana on top of it. So the times uh, we can see here, that value there is going up as we're having more rows added into that particular segment of time. If we zoom into it a little bit, you can see as each bit of data arrives, more and more data uh, is showing up in the chart there. And you can dig down into it. You can use uh, Kibana to kind of like analyze some of the uh, distribution of the data values. But the point is here we're using KSQL DB to create a connector, which looked like this. We said, create sync connector, take data from this topic, push it down to this place. And it did so, we, it was running. And now we can see it's been pushed down to that particular place. In this case, it's sitting in Elasticsearch with Kibana on top of it. So that's Kafka Connect integration within KSQL DB. Push data down to target places. We can also use it for ingesting data. So you can say we've got data sat out in a Postgres database. We'd like to stream that into Kafka to use with KSQL DB. So create sync connect, uh, sorry, create source connector, and off you go. And it'll start streaming that data into a Kafka topic to use with KSQL DB.
So hopefully that's useful. It's a really useful thing to be able to do to integrate KSQL DB with other different systems for getting data in and out. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for lots more videos all about Apache Kafka, Confluent Cloud and Confluent Platform.